Welcome back to our channel, the channel for the latest news and untold stories about Catherine, the Princess of Wales, and her royal family. Today, we bring you breaking news. Catherine's utmost gorgeous and charming style outfits as she plays a vital role in Charles's reign. Princess Catherine is changing her sense of fashion, according to turtleneck gowns, to powerful blazers. The Princess of Wales is kicking off to become stylish. She's wearing for her newly acquired title. I believe this could be her most powerful time, that she's relaxing towards the Princess of Wales position, along with the advancement that she's received in a gorgeous way. When Queen Elizabeth passed in September of last year, Catherine became Princess of Wales further up the royal family's order. Let's witness her newest amazing look. You'll have no regrets seeing its elegance. On the 16th of July, Catherine presented the male final winners as well as the runners-up for their medals on Wimbledon's grass stage. Following her greener trend, she donned green to all three of the Wimbledon matches in 2023. The princess donned Roland Moray. Princess of Wales wore a self-portrait tennis ball in the colour green throughout the ladies' championships on the 15th of July. Catherine wore a linen blazer and pants while attending the Royal International Air Festival on the 14th of July with her entire family. The Princess of Wales wore a long-sleeve blue cornflower-coloured Belua London gown, featuring a white floral pattern to see Prince William play charitable polo on the 6th of July. She added a drink of champagne, Finlay's Vivian, a pair of sunglasses, and a frameless handbag, which were more relaxed option than her usual top-handle purses or wallets. The 5th of July, Princess of Wales repurposed her Catherine Walker turquoise overcoat outfit from the Commonwealth Day in 2022, as well as the Easter holiday this year for Scotland's crowning ceremony. A stunning diamond necklace from Queen Elizabeth finished the ensemble. The princess debuted the following year at Wimbledon with a minty blazer over a white ruffled skirt on the 4th of July. Catherine opened the restored Young v &A exhibition on the 28th of June, wearing a Belua London fuchsia-strapped outfit. Royal women love the ensemble she donned to Wimbledon's tennis tournament in 2021. June 27th, the Princess of Wales opened Hope Street, which has a Southampton housing centre for women in the Royal Household Administration with kids. She donned an identical Alessandra Rich T-length blue gown with white polka dot stripes as well as a sailor-style neckline to Wimbledon alongside Prince William and Prince George the previous year. On the 23rd of June, Princess Catherine debuted at Royal Ascot in a stunning crimson dress. Alexander McQueen, who was the creator of her royal marriage attire and an official staple, designed her T-length outfit featuring a draping V neckline, along with softly flared sleeve lengths. She added a Philip Treacy flowery headpiece, golden dramatic studs, a handbag and footwear. June of this year, Catherine wore a braided ponytail, as well as a white sports suit for learning concerned Wimbledon boy balls and girls, preparing alongside Roger Federer. Catherine left the National Photograph Museum in the capital on the 20th of June, after its three-year renovation. Since the beginning of her reign as princess, she has been an investor of the museum. The self-portrait made her black and white outfit. On the 19th of June, Catherine accompanied the members of the royal family during the Garter Days Windsor Castle Ceremony and Parade. She donned a white outfit featuring polka dots and a matching cap, the opposite of her 2008 premiere. 17th of June, Catherine wore Andrew G.N.'s The Colour of Green suit, along with a Philip Treacy headpiece for King Charles's inaugural parade of the colour. Singaporean fashion illustrator Gian chose Prince William's Earthshot Prize, and those will conduct its third annual honours event there in November. Wearing green represented a tribute to her status as Lieutenant Colonel of the Royal Irish Guards, along with the fact that it is also among the hues of the Welsh flag. Catherine and William became the Prince and Princess of Wales following King Charles' ascension in September, as well as the Wales household performed an exemplary show of flag clothing by donning Prince George, Princess Charlotte, as well as Prince Louis in the colour of red for the trooping. The previous year, Queen Elizabeth similarly wore green to the celebration. Princess Catherine continued her outreach to the young kids on the 15th of June with a trip to Riversley Park Kids Centre in Warwickshire. She wore a green and white attire, the hues possibly commemorating the day of the Grenfell Tower fire's sixth milestone. 
wearing a pale blue t-shirt adorned with the England football flower and signature, and runners. Princess Catherine displayed off her athletic nature during an early morning football game and rugby match on the 7th of June. The royal couple attended Crown Prince Hussein as well as Prince Rajwa's marriage of Jordan on the 1st of June. During the wedding ceremony, Catherine donned an Ellie Saab light pink maxi dress, featuring sleeves that were long with her flowery elaboration. For the banquet meal, she changed wearing an evening gown and tiara. On the 25th of May, Catherine was spotted leaving the Foundling Institute in the capital with a pale pink Alexander McQueen designed suit, a white belt comprises as well as pink heels, all in connection with her preschool program. On the 22nd of May, the Princess of Wales surprised an unexpected appearance at the Chelsea Flower Show, wearing a light pink me and M shirt dresses and her signature barefoot wedges. Princess of Wales visited her preferred charitable organisations, the Anna Freud Centre, on the 18th of May for Mental Health Awareness Week, in order to hear concerning the newest findings in the discipline of mental wellness from professionals, as well as to speak to learners about how they are working to combat anxiousness. She attended in an olive green midi-length outfit. On the 16th of May, Catherine wore a bright yellow blazer to a fundraising event hosted through the Dame Kelly Homes Trust, wherein she learned how professional athletes make use of mentoring to instill self-assurance in at-risk use, so that they can succeed in school and in their professional lives afterwards and in everyday activities. In May, the future queen played a brief piano solo during the airing of the European Song Competition. Pictures of the princess singing session, in which she wore a blue silken one-shoulder gown while sat at her black grand piano, were posted on Kensington Palace's Instagram. Catherine and William threw an outdoor celebration at Buckingham Palace in London on the 9th of May. This event took place only a couple of days following the coronation of King Charles II, as well as Queen Camilla. The Princess of Wales re-wore the exact same pale blue striped Ellie Saab top, including skirt, headpiece with flowery design, silvery handbag and complementing heels she had previously donned to Royal Ascot in 2019. Which brings us to a key distinction. Kiki McDonough's azure sapphire and diamond stud earrings were the finishing touch of Catherine's outfit in the year 2019. During the third year, she donned the beautiful blue gemstone and diamond earrings with hoop designs to the backyard celebration. On the 8th of May, Catherine, William and their three kids participated in an entire day of service known for being the big help out with the Boy Scouts, wearing simple blue button downs that correspond the royal family's red, white and blue crowning celebration motif. The future Queen of Wales, who was crowned on May the 7th, donned the exact same red Alexander McQueen attire she had worn back in January when she unveiled the Shaping Us promotion over her Royal Foundation Centre for Early Childhood Education, prior to the coronation performance. She completed her outfit by adding a Van Cleef and Arbor's collar and corresponding studs. During the day following the coronation, the 7th of May, the royal couple joined people to enjoy a big lunch down on the Long Walk, which is located outside Windsor Castle, a short distance from their place of residence in Windsor. Residents from every corner of the United Kingdom were encouraged to get together with other people during the activities, which had their origins at the Garden of Eden and were held to increase civic engagement, alleviate isolation and promote organisations that promote good purposes. Catherine's appearance was noticeably more casual than the monarch's regalia used at the moment of her coronation. She was dressed in light blue Reese blazer, white shirt, black pants and white sneakers. From the morning of the crowning on May 5th, the royal couple accompanied King Charles along with the remaining members of the royal household in hosting an international banquet at Buckingham Palace in London. She was donning a self-portrait blue outfit. Just two days before the coronation, on the 4th of May, royal couple was spotted attending a tavern in Soho called the Dog and Duck. She donned the same red Eponine London overcoat she'd worn throughout her journey to Wales for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations in 2002, with the colour blue liner revealing just a bit this time. To honour the town's multicultural background and history, as well as interact with the next generation of leaders across the artistic industries, the royal couple, Catherine and William, spent the entire day in Wolverhampton on April 20th. The princess donned a Karen Millen maroon outfit alongside accompanying maroon footwear. 
On the 25th of March, an audio recording of the Princess of Wales discussing the economic group for young children with Richard Walker, the chief executive president of Iceland, was posted online. She wore a white jacket. The 21st of March, the official announcement of the new task force to promote her early years goal. Catherine dressed similarly to the viral video by donning a white jacket by Alexander McQueen. Of course, her marriage gown creator and slacks. She went to London to speak with corporate and financial titans about establishing healthier communities where kids can flourish. On St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, Colonel Catherine, as her hubby Prince William nicknamed her, made her public appearance as ceremonial colonel of the Irish Guards while sporting a surprising shade of green. She topped off her outfit with a unique clover brooch and emerald studs and wore footwear with a headpiece in a complementary colour. Catherine and William visited the Hayes Muslim Centre on the 9th of March to acquire information about disaster assistance efforts in Turkey and the country of Syria. She donned a Catherine Walker and Co. blazer with a matching Elan scarf during her 2019 appearance in Pakistan. On the 2nd of March, Catherine, along with William, hosted Norway's Crown Prince Haakon as well as Crown Princess Mette Marie inside Windsor Castle in England. The Princess of Wales, dressed to impress with a stunning emerald pantsuit matching top, met with the prospective King of Japan. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge spent an eventful day in Wales on February the 28th, participating in events such as the Exercise Bike Concurrence, touring the Wales Air Ambulance and announcing an outdoor treatment program at a rehabilitation facility. Catherine, clad just in a skirt and stiletto heels, triumphed in the riding competition and took home a consolation prize. On February the 19th, 2023, the Princess of Wales appeared alongside Prince William on the evening's red carpet during the 2023 BAFTA Prizes in an evening gown by Alexander McQueen, which she had previously donned to the exact same occasion in 2019. She finished off her Zara outfit with a pair of striking black gloves and matching studs. The princess visited Leeds on January the 31st to promote her early childhood education initiative and meet with people. She accessorized her engagement outfit with an extended green coat, a cream-colored turtleneck attire, an olive handbag, along with brown footwear. On January the 26th, Catherine wore a pink pullover sweater, pink coat, as well as black pants to Windsor's Food Share, a charity that distributes food in the surrounding area. The royal couple joined workers in sorting items, and they held their own. The Princess of Wales appeared lovely on January the 25th whenever she convened an assembly at Windsor Castle in England with eight experts in the fields of science, education and the preschool sectors. She accessorized her suit alongside a white blouse and pearl studs. The video's over. Thank you for watching. What are your thoughts on Princess Catherine's fashion sense now that she's the Princess of Wales? Does it seem more sophisticated and elegant, even formal? For now, we ask that you provide your feedback before saying farewell.